Try and keep, yeah, that's the twister. Grab a shoulder first and pull yourself up. Now grab a head. And I bring my foot towards my face. I'll let you do that. Bam! Oh. Do the wrestling style and go belly down. So you go belly down, now I've got to chase. How's it going guys? Alex Schild here, uh, back at Bang Tao. So yeah, super happy today. We have my friend uh, Danny, the cheesecake assassin Mitchell uh, here. He's coaching my class right now. This guy is super OG of the fight game. He has over 100 pro fights, MMA, Muay Thai, bare knuckle, everything in MMA. He's got the only twister submission in Bellator and former UFC fighter, just all around badass. So uh, yeah, let's take a look. Okay, time. Most of you look like you've got that position. Like I say, I'm gonna teach in reverse and we're gonna do all the cool shit now. So if you're bored, now you're gonna learn some cool shit. We're gonna do all the finishes and then we'll just figure out other ways we can get to that position. So there's a lot of finishes from that position. The stretch where we're just stretching him is just the first one that I always go for. Again, if your partner's like some kind of yoga master and they're not gonna tap, then we just use it as a control. So luckily Clive's not a yoga master. So I get my knee in, I pull him over, and I get to here, okay? And what I wanna do is try and stretch him. Now what most people do is when I try and stretch their legs, all he has to do is hold his own knee. If he holds his own knee, look, now it, it kills it, okay? But the whole point of this position for me is I want access to this arm. That's all, I, that's all I'm bothered about, okay? So I'm pulling here, it's just a distraction, I just want this. Some people flail their arms around, makes it super easy. Okay, so we're here again, grab your knee, block it. So watch, all I'm gonna do is go to this. Yeah, so I just go bicep curl on his arm. I grab his wrist, I'm gonna extend my legs and I'm gonna pull this to my chest. Okay, from there, once I've got this arm, I'm gonna throw it over my head so I'm gonna lift, I'm gonna come through, and I'm gonna grab his shoulder and pin his shoulder. This is where I wanna be. So for wrestling, this is a pin. I'm pinning his arm, I'm stretching his leg. See how his body's twisted? It's like uh, this stretch. Yeah, I'm stretching him, giving him a free, free chiropractor session, okay? So we get to here. Once I've got this and I've got his shoulder locked, now I can start working on his head, okay? Now he's got a free hand. So if I try and grab his head, he's gonna block. Okay, he's, he's not gonna let me grab his head. You only need to win this battle once. Okay, block it, go. As Soon as I win that battle, I get that collar tie. I lift his head one inch off the ground. I lock, done. Okay, so I'm here first. Yeah, just gotta win this battle, go. It's like Wing Chun. I think it's the only time you can use it. Yeah, makes sense. Again, we're in. Pull. I want to stretch him, look. He holds his leg, so I can't stretch him. I go inside, keep your grip. Grab his wrist, and then I pull. If, he, if he's got a strong grip, I just shake it like that. Yeah, I just shake him until I get to here. I throw this over my head, shock, come to the shoulder, hug it tight, squeeze it. He can't turn into me anymore and he can't turn away because of this. Now I just need to grab his head. If he's smart, he'll have his head on the mat like this. If he lifts his head up and tries to sit up, bang, he's done. Sometimes I'll go like a full rear naked choke. Okay, so we're here. I try and grab his head, block it. Little hand fight. I only need to win one battle. Lift, under, like a tie clinch. Done. That's the twister. Okay, be careful. One, two, three. Now jump this hand underneath. Lock, there you go, now pull. Be careful, that's it, go on. There you go, nice. Make a triangle. Yeah, yeah, there, yeah. Now foot to foot, now stretch your legs. Stretch, yeah, better. Bicep, curl, boom. Grab his wrist, this hand here, yeah. Over your head, head up, this way, yeah. Grab his shoulder, 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 shoulder. Pull, nice, yeah. Grab a shoulder first, and pull yourself up. Now grab a head. There you go, nice. Yeah, yeah, of course. Pull him down as he gets up. 
Yeah. Yeah. Try though to keep a triangle here if you can. Try and keep. Yeah. That keep that locked. So his hips are locked. Yeah. Pull. Yeah, and just pull. That's it. Beautiful. Yeah. Stretch. That's it. Now you got him. Nice. Ah. Better, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we'll do a few different finishes and then we'll finish off with some cool different entries. Okay, so we've got the banana split and the twister. The other obvious one that most of you know is the calf walk. So we'll go in here. I'm getting my knee in. And this is just the easiest entry. So we get to here. So maybe she's keeping this arm tight and I can't get the split and I'm struggling here. Okay. Trying to stretch a leg, nothing's working, and I can't get access to this arm. All I do is I use my foot and I bring my foot towards my face. Okay? If my right foot is doing this, my right hand is gonna grab the toes. Okay? What I don't do is this. Because she grabs my arm, ah, and she can arm bar me. So you've got to be careful. Some people rush with both arms. She could actually break your arm and you don't want to get caught out with that. So I just do one hand here on the toes. My other leg, if I make a triangle, she could grab my leg ah, and I might get caught. So I've got to be careful. So what I like to do is put my foot on my own heel and I'm going to do this. And that's going to explode a leg. This is our control position. I can't stretch her. I can't get to this arm. I use my foot to bring her foot close, I grab her toes, not her ankle, because she can kick out up. I grab her toes, I don't do this, I stamp and I kick. Okay, if you feel like you need more power, you can use your leg. Whole leg curl. Super tight. Okay, that's your calf lock. So there are our main three attacks from that position. We'll do one more after this and then we'll do some cool entries, okay? One, two, three, let's Pull. go. Bam, just in case, be careful, yeah? Yeah. So if you can kick through that, and then just clamp, do a leg curl there. Oh, yeah, good. yeah. That, that's better, now pull, yeah? And you can kick there. Yeah, nice, or kick through, clamp there. That's super tight, yeah? Just kick your leg through this hole, yeah? And now do that. Yeah, now you can pull with your hamstring and your hand. You just don't want to get caught out reaching and then get arm barred. When I got this in Bellator, I had the guy here. I had the guy here and his, and his coach saying, back to the mat, back to the mat. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the way to defend it is to actually go do the wrestling style and go belly down. So you go belly down, now I've got to chase. Yeah, that's the way. Most jiu-jitsu guys go back to the mat. So they give you, yeah, yeah, that's the way you're taught, isn't it? We'll do, we'll do one more finish. Okay, time. The twister, illegal in most competitions. Leg locks, beginner level, illegal in most competitions. So we'll do an arm lock from this, uh, this scenario, okay? So I pull her down, I get my knee in, I set up the twister. I try and stretch her, grab your knee. Yeah, I attack this arm. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is rather than going here and going to this position, I'm just going to get an overhook. So I'm like this, I go over and I get an overhook there on her elbow. I put my hand in her armpit and I lock to my own wrist and then I just pretend I'm on a moped and I just do this, boom. To this position, if she's not aware that I want this arm, she might even start, yeah, doing this, which is easy. Now I just, I just take it. I wrap over her elbow, hand in her armpit, finish. So that's the first one, so get that. Now it's easy to defend. All she has to do is turn away and let her arm go like spaghetti and she can get out and I might lose her, okay? So remember the first one, we're revving like we're on a moped, okay? Now when you're in Thailand and you're on a moped, and you're a foreigner with no helmet on, who's gonna get you? The police. Boom. Get her with the little police up the back. Arm lock, yeah? Okay, so we've got the, we've got the twister here. Or if we just overhook the arm, arm lock. She turns, I just grab. And I just push, eh? So we've got two little arm locks we can play with as well. 
Okay, give him a go. One, two, three. Good story, that wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Tell the story. She's doing the defense, that's good. So turn away from him and pull your arm out. As she turns, grab both hands and then slowly just push it up there. There you go, up onto your hands. Yeah, roll, 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 nice, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's today's session done. I tried to deliver like a mini seminar, lots of information. Um, so hopefully beginners and advanced all took something away from that. Everybody's rolling now. Um, so yeah, big thanks to everybody who came to the session. And make sure you subscribe to the Bangtao YouTube channel. There's gonna be lots of new videos, vlogs, things like that going up there. If you wanna get in contact with me, just look for Danny Mitchell MMA on Instagram, YouTube, all social media. I'm not hard to find. I'll see ya.